Always excited. Always excited. Especially, I think I think they're still ranked. But I mean, Civil War. I mean, it's always a, a tough game, a close game, and one you kind of wanna you wanna win real bad. Well, I think early in the season, I don't think our transi transition defense was that good. But I think as the season's progressed, I think we've gotten a lot better at it. So I think that's what we need to do is just try to contain them and not let them get off and get transition buckets like they like to do. Roberto, how do you see the Ducks with artists and without artists? Sounds like he's going to play it. I mean, with or without them, we're still a good team. Uh, I think he, he brings a lot to the table when he's playing. And I mean, we just got to try to contain him as much as possible and just try to make them take difficult shots throughout the game. Eric, what was it like going up against uh, Kazemi that first time? And what did you do so well against him? Um, well, I think he was just coming off an of injury. So um, I'm sure he had to get back in the groove or whatever. But um, you know, he's a tough player and one of the toughest players in our conference. So. Um, I have to battle with him on the boards, and you know he's you know he's a great defensive player. So you know just have to battle with him all night long because he's one of the best players, one of the toughest players in our league. It seemed like uh, against Cal, you kind of came out with more of a killer instinct. You slammed that one home on the fast break and got fouled. Was there a different attitude that you came in with in that game? Um, well, first of all, you know it was Joe's senior night, so of course, you know you want you have a little extra energy for that. Um, you know it was an emotional night, so you know everybody wants to come out hard, but um, you know I just got to keep being energetic. You know it's a long grind out season, so just got to you know start the start the tone off like fast and and just grind, just keep grinding it out, man. It's it's been a tough tough season for us, so um, just want to continue to be energetic. You know the season's not over, so you know you just got to keep grinding. Uh, I would like for it to, um, you know, just growing up, uh, I just wasn't dunking the ball like that. So um, now that I'm 6'10", I just have to constantly think that, know that I'm that long and athletic and um, can, you know, pretty, I can jump pretty good. So um, just got to try to think about that all the time when I'm going up and, you know, and if I don't, my teammates will be sure to get on me. Eric, the second half, of the first game, that was a long way back. The first time you played Oregon, they outscored you in the second half by quite a bit. It seemed like they got some more loose balls and rebounds. Did you feel that energy change, and what, what can you guys do differently this time around? Uh, I'm sure that coach got them pretty good at halftime. Um, you know, we, we, we started off really good, but uh, our Achilles heel has, has been the second half. And, um, you know, like, like, like Roberto said, you know, they killed us in transition defense. So we just got to keep, keep on working in practice on getting back and, you know, communicating. And, um, you know, I think our communication has gotten better. But, uh, you know, um, until we, you know, get that part down in our game, in our, in our game plan, then maybe we'll start seeing some better results. But, um, do you take it in a sense with Kazemi as good of a rebounder as he is? I mean, do you, do you want to kind of take that challenge on and out rebound him? I mean, do you look at it as a game within a game kind of? Um, of course, I want to play against the best of the best. So, like Andre Robeson and Arsenal Kazemi, you know, they're great rebounders. So, of course, I'm going to want to get more rebounds than them. I mean, they, that's what they do best. Uh, that's what I do best. So, um, you know, I, I'll just go out there and. You, get every rebound I can. But, you know, it's just about getting a nose for the ball. So, you know, he has a great nose for the ball, great instincts. So, um, it's just going to be a good game. Going up against those guys, have you picked up things over the course of the year and learned stuff from them? Um, I, they, they, they really have a good transition offense. And, you know, they, they get back and they, you know, they, they have fast tempo. So, um, you know, we like to get up and down too. And, you know, we have um, – personnel kind of like they do. So um, we just got to really just get back on defense with them. And I think that would be a key to us winning that game. Going back to last year's game, last time you guys played at Matthew United Arena, you guys think about that and all say, all right, we came from behind last year in a tough game. <clears throat> 
Well, I mean, we don't like to, to, to kind of think about the, the, the past games too much, and we don't want to kind of dwell on that. But, I mean, I, like I said, we just got to take one day at a time, and I think we're more than capable of, of beating this team. And I think we beat ourselves a lot during the season. And, I mean, if we really just buckle down and just go out there and play, we could play with anybody. So it's just going to come down to, I mean, how bad do we want at this game, and are we doing all the intangible stuff to, to get us over the hump? Roberto, Coach, this guy has described you as a reluctant is that a description of your game? Uh, talk about how you this year. I mean, I don't really see it like that. I really just go out there and just play, play hard. I mean, I play to win. As I said, I, losing is, is something that I'm not familiar with and I don't, I, don't, I don't really like. So, I mean, as well as all these other guys on the team, I mean, we do we just try to go hard in practice and just try to go hard in the game so that all the hard work we've been putting in can, can finally start showing out there on the court. Uh, where have you made your most improvement this year? Well, uh, probably just I, I'm, I, f I feel like I'm a bit more vocal this year. Um, I guess the guy I'm, I'm working a little harder this year than I did last year. I think the guys can see that and they kind of they see that and it gives them confidence in me and it gives me a lot more confidence. So I think just working harder overall, I think that's just where I've made strides this year. What areas do you think you really need? Oh, everything. I mean, there's never, there's never a point in time where you can stop working on something. And when, once you, if you stop working, that's when people pass you up. So I'm just going to continue to keep working hard and just try to, you know, try to make my game as best as possible so that I can keep moving in the right direction. Coach said that sometimes people take it for granted that score is just score and it's easy for them. Do you feel like sometimes scoring is easy for you? Well, I mean, it's, e it's easy in the sense when you have great teammates who, who put you in great positions to, to make shots. I mean, I haven't been fortunate in the last couple of games to make a lot of shots, but I mean, if you look at the games, I've had wide open shots that I've missed. And, and I think that's credited to a lot, a lot of my teammates. And I mean, they put me in positions where I'm kind of just taking one, two step into a shot. It's just kind of like me being in the gym late at night, getting shots up. So, I mean, Joe Burton, Eric Moreland, I mean, all the way down, Devon Collier, everybody is threats on our team, including Maude Starks, too, and Charlie. So, I mean, it, all, it, goes, it goes down to, uh, down the list. So, I mean, we just got a bunch of threats on the team. And when you have threats like that on the team, it's, it's, it's a little bit easier to score. So does that mean that your role is to score? I think, well, I, my, my role definitely, I mean, I, I mean, I guess you could say one of my roles is to score, but that's just not all I need to do. I, th I think I need to pick it up as, as, a, as a leader on this team and just be, be better defensively and, and try to, um, you know, complete my assignment as, um, on the defensive end as much as possible and just, just try to lead, lead more. And I mean, really, I mean, we all can score. So, I mean, I don't think me being the scorer, if I don't score a lot of points that we'll lose the game or something like that, I don't think that's the case. Um, I think yes and no. I think there are some people that are really leaders on this team. They're just not confident, and and some people are really vocal, and, and they just kind of don't really feel like people will take them seriously. So I just think, I mean, for the most part, I mean, we we can say whatever we want to the guys on the team, and and they don't take it they don't take it the wrong way. I mean, they take constructive criticism really well, and I think that's that's been something why our team's been close in games because I think we could have given up a long time ago, but the fact that we're able to to constructively uh, criticize each other and and try to point out things, I mean, I think that makes us better. Like before the game, uh, Eric was showing me parts uh, of the film from the previous game that he saw that I need to work on. And I just think as teammates, when you trust each other like that, I mean, and you're you're that close to somebody, I think that that goes a long way. Roberto, you've been to the line a bunch this year. Has that uh, been a focus for you? And did you maybe take a little from Jared in that respect? As far as the tricks that you have? No, no. I mean. Jared, I mean, he really got to the line. He was extremely aggressive. Getting to the line has been something that really, before, like, that's really all I, I used to do. I used to shoot a lot of free throws and get to the line because I mean, that's one thing my dad tried to instill in me was, I mean, you want to get to the line as much as possible because that gets you in a flow. And free throws, I mean, they're free. You got to go out there and just make them. And once you make a couple of shots and you see the ball go in the net, it just kind of, it, it just helps you out with your overall game throughout the game. So I just feel like the more I get to the free throw line, the better I play. And I think if if you look at the stats, I mean, I think that's that kind of uh, tells itself.
Roberto, when you talk about playing better defense collectively as a team, would you guys take it again sort of personally? I mean, Dotson had a big second half against you here. Can't, can't let that happen again in a sense. Right? So what, what do you guys see you have to adjust to with him? Well, like I said, transition defense was really big, and I think that's where he got the majority of his points was in transition D. And I think earlier in the season, I don't think we communicated with each other as enough, and I don't think we trusted each other as much. And I mean, having all these games that we played and, and to finally come into this game now to kind of take a step back and look at how they really, you know, took advantage of us in the second half with, with transition points. I, I think definitely I, we're going we're gonna to do a lot better in that aspect because, I mean, we trust each other more and we're a lot more comfortable and a lot more familiar with the team having watched them play as well. So I just think our communication has gotten a lot better as well as our, our help being in transition to you. Eric, uh, being from Houston, did you know uh, Damien at all coming up through? Uh, yeah, he played. He played with uh, uh, Yates High School, and uh, he also works with my trainer. That's my trainer's um, uh, cousin. So you know, we was working out actually before we we both came came back up to Oregon. So uh, we were working out, and he was working hard, and um, yeah, we were we were familiar with each other. Yes. You guys ever talk to each other or friends? I guess off the court. Well, it's kind of hard, you know, with him being a rival and all, but. Uh, you know, I'm sure when we go back, um, you know, we'll we'll talk about how the season went and you know what can we do better to come back and that kind of stuff. Uh, well, you guys work out together then? Do you have a similar trainer? Yeah, um, with our trainer, we uh, we work out. We, we we will be working out together more. Yes. What do you like about his game, or what what do you think about him as a player? He goes hard. He just he he, he works hard. So um, uh, his work ethic is pretty admirable, and he, he goes hard on every drill and. You know, um, it's fun to watch. I mean, he's a pretty good player. Eric, the 1-3-1 the is still a weapon for you guys. Do you like doing that? Or as a rebounder, would you prefer to um, It's really hard to rebound from, from you just got to crash from the top. But um, the one three one is a gimmick defense, and it messes up teams. So if I can get up there and disrupt the guards and, you know, disrupt their flow, then I'm I'll be up there trying to get some, get my hand on some balls. So, uh, you know, regardless, it, it doesn't matter. It's just what's best for the team. Like, I don't care about getting a bunch of rebounds. Like, I just, just if that's what we, if we're getting our rebounds, I want to get rebounds. If, you know, if we need to disrupt their offense, then I'd love to get up there and help. What do you guys remember about playing down in that stadium last year? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fun environment. The court is extremely cool. I mean, state of the art place and, I mean, everything's cool. I mean, the fans are cool, and I mean, playing in their gym, a rival and a, against a rival team, it's, it's always fun. And I mean, the energy's gonna be up. We're, we'll be excited for it, and, and we're just, I mean, I don't know. It's, I mean, every every rival game is is, is fun, and, and we're always up for it. So we'll be, we'll definitely be ready. Extra energy for you. Oh, there's always extra energy. You have more energy, and and it goes to say too. Sometimes, I mean, you might have too much energy, where you might get out of, you might get gassed a little early. So, uh, it's it's fun though, because as as a freshman, I remember what it was like for me playing against Oregon and how excited I was and how I lost my energy so fast. But now that I'm kind of older, I could kind of kind of just think about it and just kind of slow down a little bit and not just get too ahead of myself. Last year, do you remember how it felt walking out of there with a the victory? Oh, I mean, it's, it feels really good. It feels really good just for the state of Oregon because you got you got people pulling for Oregon and Oregon State through. I mean, for every sport. I mean, they follow for every sport and radio stations and everybody's just just broadcasting and, and families are betting against it. And you just some you, as a Beaver, you just want to come back to Corvallis with the win and just kind of see um, the looks on people's faces when you walk around beating Oregon. Uh, you guys been keeping up with the boys in Phenomenon at all? Not really, not much. I, I saw a little, I think earlier today, uh, Marcus Wheaton, his uh, draft, his draft uh, stock has went up. So I mean, that was, that's good. That's always good to see.